Hi, I'm Jim Gutman, a board certified endodontist from Dallas, Texas, and I've been practicing within the full scope of endodontics for over 40 years. One of the initial tasks that we must do when starting any root canal procedure is the establishment of an initial pathway or glide path in the root canal. Ideally, and especially in small curved canals, the use of a small K file, such as a number 8 file, that has been slightly curved in the apical 1 to 3 millimeters as depicted in this video, should be used to determine the initial canal patency. Once established, a predictable technique for both enhancing the canal patency while remaining centered in the canal would be the use of a rotary NITI path file. This instrument comes in three sizes, 13, which is purple, a 16, which is white, and a 19, which is yellow. They all have a .02 taper. These path files are used at 300 RPMs and enable the clinician to prepare the pathway in a canal without deviating into the canal wall. An added advantage is its ability to grab the pulp tissue that in many cases results in a complete pulpectomy. As can be seen in this video, it remains centered in the canal which now enables the clinician to use any NITI rotary or reciprocal system to enlarge and shape the canal effortlessly. Research studies have shown that the use of traditional stainless steel hand files in the hands of both GPs and specialists tend to deviate from the original canal. The use of the rotary .02 path files is a proven method to safely establish the desired glide path in the